PSTV visited Gloria Cazares during Hispanic Heritage Month to talk with teachers and students about Hispanic culture. Hi, I'm Awilda Aguila Balbuena. I am the principal at Gloria Cazares for the last 14 years. Uh, my name is Rosa Arnold and I am the math school-based teacher leader at Gloria Cazares. What do you like most about your school? Since I've been here for like since kindergarten, principals are the nice and I like my teachers like Miss Williams I had her in, in first grade and in fifth grade. It's because she's a nice teacher and, and she always uh, makes everybody feel welcome and makes sure everybody gets a nice education. Me, gust, me gustan que los profesores que me ayuden en la tarea y también puedo conocer como las actividades que podamos hacer aquí. The teachers, could they um, make you feel welcome here? Que los maestros ayudan en las tareas, que ellos hacen sentir en confianza, que y que tengo muchos amigos. I come in from school, they give me respect and everything. Cuando hacen muchas actividades con otros cursos y también, y también las cosas que hacen después de la escuela. ¿Cómo qué? Como, digamos, karate. Ah. Y, o sea, no sé qué más hay, pero me gustaría entrar a karate también. What do you expect from the school year? Helping build a community between the families, our teachers, our students, our staff. A community where everyone's diversity is celebrated and seen as an asset, that together we're better than we are alone or individually. For me, this year is just all about growth, growing um, with the students as we learn each and every day when we come here, um, and just watching the progression throughout the year. For this school year, I'm excited for like trips, and get to learn new stuff, and graduate, and like go to another school. For graduation and trips, yeah, to graduate. Que me ver bien, me van a sacar buenas notas. I'm excited for sixth grade. Que mi salón saque un programa para, para aprender más fotos, como de fotos y es. What do you enjoy about working with students? They're funny and they're honest. I really appreciate that about them. But I think beyond that, their resiliency, you know, we're, we're in a community where they're seeing things they shouldn't be seeing, and yet they thrive when they're here. When I see them, I see hope in their eyes, and that then gives me hope to keep advocating for them. I love seeing students develop um, and just feel more confident in their learning. You can see the difference from the beginning of the year to the end of the year and how we're preparing them for their future. What do you want to do when you grow up? Um, tengo como tres profesiones que me gustaría hacer. Sería como azafata, mm -hmm. eh, bio, bióloga marina okay. y psicóloga. I want to be a lawyer. Profesora de arte. Porque me gusta el arte. Me gusta dibujar. Soccer player. Cuando yo creo que creo, creo que quiero ser como un fotógrafo. Y así, cuando yo tenga fotos y ese video, lo puedo mandar a mi canal. What does Hispanic Heritage Month mean to you? It means like you celebrating all the Hispanics and Latinos out there. If without them, some of the things that we use every single day wouldn't have been here because there are a lot of Hispanic and Latino uh, inventors and like astronauts and like stuff like that. So it wouldn't, like, if there was a world without Hispanics, Hispanics, the world wouldn't be complete. Like you celebrate, you celebrate people out there. Celebrate people's culture, yeah. Latinos have been here forever. And I'm a little insulted, sorry, that um, we only have, you know, September 15th through October 15th. But our contributions to the U.S. have been immense and I think overlooked putting that very, you know, simply. Uh, Latinos have been overlooked. U.S. wouldn't be what it is without the Latinos, and for that matter, all the other cultures that are here. Um, but yeah, I, it means 
hello, we're here. You know, we've contributed, uh, contributed a lot uh, to this country, and thank you for acknowledging us, even if it's, you know, those, um, th those 30 days. So that's, so for me, it's just being recognized. A representation of our culture, um, like was mentioned earlier, is just sometimes we're not always seen. Sometimes we always try to fit, um, Latinos try to fit into a box to, uh, fit in in the communities that they live in or just um, not be seen, whereas this is just more recognition to understand that we deserve to be heard, we deserve to be celebrated, we deserve for our culture to be known, um, and just a reminder not to shy away from every opportunity to show the world who we are, where we come from, and why um, we deserve to be celebrated.